Hey guys, uh, I'm going to be showing the current progress on the new version of Evil Portal. This is not released yet, but you can find all the code on my GitHub page. Um, but yeah, so basically the new version, I'm ditching no dog splash. So no dog splash will no longer be the back end for Evil Portal. It's just pure IP tables, um, Nginx to display the web page, and now that allows us to do PHP portals. Um, and there's going to be a, a evil portal API for you and all this kind of stuff. Um, but this is just a development video, kind of like a showcasing the progress. Um, my goal is to have this released by the next pen test with Hack5, or before it anyways, maybe a day before it. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and take a look. You'll notice here that we have a whitelist tab and a authorized clients tab. Uh, these are new, and basically what the whitelist is, is it's a list of IP addresses um, that the client, if the client has this, then they don't have to go through uh, the captive portal. They just have access to the internet. Um, you can add and remove any IP addresses you want to. I just have um, 172.16.42.42 on there by default. You can remove it if you want to. Currently, it's not going to be doing it by MAC address, but that's something that I'll do in the future. So you can do whitelisting by MAC address as well as IP address. And you'll notice that we have the authorized clients, or which is blank at the moment. Um, this is all the clients who are authorized to connect to the internet. So you can authorize a new client based upon their IP address, or you can revoke an existing client. They'll kick them off of the internet access list. And now they have to reauthenticate through your captive portal. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and let's just start this up so you can see it working. I'm gonna go ahead and say start. And now if we look at authorized clients, we have 172.16.42.42, and that's because it was in the whitelist. Um, and if we want to, we can go ahead and just revoke that. So now there's no authorized clients. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and connect to the pineapple with my Android phone. So I'm, whoops, not that one. This one, right, oh, no, not that one either. This one right here. All right, so I'm connected and now it's gonna say to sign into network. And you can see that I have the captive portal. I'm just gonna go ahead and say auth. And now I'm connected, cool. So if we go to um, Chrome really quickly, and let's see, I'm gonna close out of my tabs. Let's go ahead and open a new incognito tab and go to, I don't know, example.com. It works perfectly fine. We can also go to um, hack five, or let's go to hackshop.com, why not? Um, yeah, you can see that there is access to the internet. Um, so now if we come over here and let's go ahead and reopen our authorized clients you can see that we have this new client here. And let's go ahead and kick them off. So we don't want them to have access to the internet anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and put their IP address here and revoke them. So now, if I uh, close out of that tab, open a new incognito tab and go to my website, frozendevelopment.net, you can see that there's no longer access to the internet and I have to re-auth. So if I press auth, um, I think that there's some weird caching thing going on, but I should be authenticated now. So if I open up a new incognito tab again, and go back to, um, let's go to Amazon.com, because I haven't been there yet. It works perfectly fine. And you can see in the authorized clients that the address is back in there. So that's the current progress on the new version of Evil Portal. Um, if you liked it, thumbs up the video write a comment below. Um, if you guys want to test it out yourselves, I'll leave the link for the code on GitHub in the description. Um, also, you can follow me on Twitter if you have one, uh, at FrozenJava. I frequently tweet about different projects I work on. So, uh, But yeah, thank you for watching. This is a sneak peek of the new version of Evil Portal.